off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Okay folks, I'm gonna do something a little daring this morning. I've got great light and it's not a sauna in here so I'm gonna do this first thing. I only have like 20 minutes before I have to take Abby to work. Actually, 15. So we're gonna do this quick. I want to show you um, some of the before um, shirts, looks. Uh, before I have my surgery, I am just a few days away from having it. Um, and then I'm going to use this footage again later. It'll, it might take a couple weeks. And kind of show the true like before and after side by side. So you can kind of see it and also like for myself and this is also um, a shirt that's a good guide for me for how far I've come to this point as well um, because this shirt is a 3x huge on me it is it's always been stretchy it's always been long but it is very large on me and when I put this on um, last week, I think, I haven't worn it for a long time, and I just realized how big and baggy it was, and I was like, I mean, I can, I can like cinch it up and I can tuck it into my pants and stuff, but like this shirt alone shows the progress that I have had. I have, I am about three pounds away from 50 pounds lost, in case you are new. Um, so it's been quite the journey. I'm almost to 50 pounds. Um, I was hoping to get to that point before my surgery date, but I don't think I will, which is fine. It's fine. So I'm going to show you a few shirts. I've got some here. These are kind of shirts that like I put on and I want to look differently in them, especially across my chest. Um, and I want to see what they look like now. Um, this one is similar to this one where it's just massively huge and um, it's going to swamp me as soon as my chest is smaller. But other ones like this one and my pink one, they fit, but they're really tight and they really emphasize my large chest. So we're just going to do that really quick. We're going to show you a few of these shirts and show you my before. This is really putting me out there, really making me vulnerable. But what I've learned even just in the last week of a few extra people that I have told about this surgery, um, one of them in particular said that I don't fully understand right now the impact that my example to have the surgery could have on some. So if I can be daring and put clothes on or do this surgery or, you know, emphasize my vulnerability, then Maybe I'm going to help someone else make the decision to either have the surgery or get their health in check or go for a walk. Something as simple as just going for a walk can be a huge motivator. So we have this shirt and I liked this shirt. I really do and I still do. And my tendency these days is just to keep it and kind of cinch it in tight and make it fit for now. But the reality is it's huge and it doesn't fit me and it's emphasizing too much and but I also know that once I have this reduced and tucked up it's just it's gonna be even bigger and I don't want to have even bigger I also have like issues like when I wear these shorts versus these shorts these are just jean shorts they have like the whole um, elastic waist, no buttons, no zips. I even look skinnier in these shorts versus the other green ones that I just had on because the green ones just have a lot of extra pangy clothes, like fabric. And I just, I don't need to hide behind the extra fabric. I've hidden behind extra fabric to hide this for a very long time. Let's do another shirt. I'll show you. This is another one. Very similar, you see me wearing this one all the time because it fits and I don't have to worry about it. Except now, I just, it's, look how big, it's just big. And it, 
it makes me look bigger because there's so much material. Like I don't need it to look that big because I'm not that big. But I'm just so used to having extra material to make sure it covers everything up. I don't need to do that anymore. So with the other shirts, I'm going to try and challenge myself to just donate them and get rid of them. But this is a shirt and a great example of one that I want to keep and compare myself to after the surgery. I don't usually, you guys know, I don't get this far away from the camera. I usually am right here. And the reason why my hands are usually up is to take away the focus from here because this is a lot of real estate and this is what makes me uncomfortable about this shirt because I go out here and it's just, it takes up a lot of real estate. Yes, I still have a gut that will I, I have to work on, but I want to compare myself with this shirt. I want to keep this shirt. I want to be comfortable in this shirt. Um, I want to feel better in this one. I think it's cute. I like the bright color, um, but there's just a lot of attention here. So this is one I want to keep after surgery and be happy about. A lot of my other ones I want to donate. Obviously, like there's some kind of a stain on this one. I don't know. I don't know what that is. But here's a good example. I can see this in the camera. I didn't know that I was going to do this. But I, I can see that stain. It's a little oil stain for whatever reason. It's hung up. I had planned to wear it. And if I had just gone about my day, I wouldn't have seen it. Because I can't see it over my chest. I can't see that stain over my chest. <laughs> I don't like that I can't see down. So that's one thing. This one I really like because it is a little bit more form fitting than my other shirts, like the black one, the white one, whatnot. Um, so it's, it's doing better, but again, there's still a lot of focus in the chest area that I kind of want to take away. You know, I just don't want to have so much attention in the chest area. So and my doctor did tell me, like, to be fair, he said, by fixing these right now and wait, you know, and then you'll have time to go forward with your weight loss in the time being the this will become a new focus because this will be the thing that's like not in shape and these will be. So he said, be aware, like the body, body dysmorphia will be real because now I'll be really emphasizing my stomach. So I'll have to be mindful of that and give myself some grace and it'll help motivate me going forward, but that's okay. So here's another shirt and I like that I put on the jean shorts because it really shows um, like the figure better. So next shirt. Okay, again, this shirt is similar to the pink one. Um, I really like it, but it's just overemphasized in the chest area. So I'm hoping to keep this one and just feel better about like what I look like with a t-shirt on. This is just a t-shirt, regular t-shirt from Old Navy. And I like it, I'm comfortable in it. I just want to be more comfortable in it. So, I don't know. The, the I'm getting nervous for the surgery. I've talked to a, a lot of extra people about it lately. Just kind of opening up and admitting that I'm doing it and like it's not a secret. I'm just nervous about telling people that like aren't receptive to talking about it. Um, maybe have they, they have their own like self-conscious worries about themselves and that's fine. I just want to make sure that I'm doing it for all the right reasons for me. And that I'm only worried about the medical aspect of recovering. <laughs> okay, so all of that being said, let me just show you the setup that I have here in my room. All I have left to do is to vacuum it um, and get in, in preparation for surgery. I just want to vacuum it, but I want to kind of show you what I have all set up. Um, this video is all about like surgery prep and getting ready. I really truly want to take tomorrow which is Sunday and just I need to like zen I need to like calm myself and not get so worried we were gonna go out of town and now we're not um, and so I just need to like make sure that this space is what I need it to be 
for surgery. I will be living in here for a few days until I feel good enough to go downstairs. My kids will be taking care of me. So let me just show you around the room. All right, we have gotten more accustomed to making the bed and making it look nice because we have the couch in here and it feels nicer than it did before. So it gives us more of a desire to have the bed made because we come in here in the evenings and it want, we want it to look nice. So that's nice. I have new sheets, not new to us, but like clean sheets put on and the bed is ready. I have all my medications, my regular medications here along with my injections. And I have found a place, I think, to take my excess needles. <laughs> I just need to like get them all taken out. So don't think I have like a major drug problem. Those are all my needles. Um, here is my little caddy that I have all ready to go. Um, and what I think I will do is really get it closer to me here or even depending on how I have the bed set up, I might actually stick it between Jason and I as I'm trying to recover at night and have him have access to my medications. Um, right now I have this little lid here because I'm taking this Meprosin medication and you have to put it in your nose and your belly button and your ear. It's like a Bacter Ban um, antibiotic ointment to make sure you're clear of any bacteria before surgery. And as soon as I open it, it like spills out. It like just gushes out. So I like put the excess in that little lid. Um, so I've got some extra medications in here. I've got some acetaminophen, some Tylenol. I can take that um, after surgery. I also have an extra bottle of melatonin. Actually, that one goes to the girls. I got two of them at Target the other day because if you spent $40 on home health and beauty, then you got a $10 gift card. So I just stocked up on melatonin because we always need it. And I'll use it in case I can't fall asleep. And Abby is calling me to tell me it's time to go. <laughs> Look how cute she is. This is from years ago on Oahu. That's Ashley that she's holding. Hi, I'm coming down. Okay. All right, bye. Bye. All right, really quick. I've got the lanyards from um, Timu that will be used for my drains so I can take a shower. They clip onto the drains and hold them up so they don't fall out. And then these are all my prescription medications along with um, some Benadryl. I've heard from... People who've had the surgery, that they get really, really itchy and break out in a rash. And um, I want to have that on hand. Um, and then a chapstick ball that is easily found. And as well as my hydrocortisone cream in case my hands get itchy. I get hives on my hands a lot. And my, um, what do you call this? The uh, athlete's foot um, cream because my hands still don't like the initial nails when I get them. I don't know what happens, but I just am still using some fungal cream on my hands. So that's kind of the setup here. We got to be quick because Abby wants to go, but let me just show you really fast the rest of the room. I am, this is all cleaned up. I won't be doing makeup for a while. I'm coming. I'm coming. I know. And then the desk or the couch setup is pretty simple. I haven't done anything extra. I've taken some of the things out of this basket to put into the caddy because it just needs to be in there instead. All right, so I just brought Ashley down for a Let's little- go back inside. Okay, we'll see you in a minute. So we came, I can't give it away, but I came to Abby's work yeah. to give her a smoothie and some goldfish for and her work eating, break, and right? I'm meeting my friends here. And you're meeting your friends here, so Abby does work somewhere where kids are involved without giving away where she works for privacy reasons. But Ash, Ashley got invited to come down with her friend um, that is going to be here as well. And, and your sister just gave you a card to play for you get games on. Yep. And so you get to not spend your money. Yeah. You get to use your sister's employee <laughs> discount ish. Yeah. So you're very happy that you didn't have yeah. to spend your money. Except for I do have a few things on this. Like I have another card. You're going to leave your money here. Yeah, but I have another card that still has coins on it. So I'm going to... Are you going to take both of them? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in and we'll... Well, do you have, a, you have a pocket in your pants? No. Okay, can you give them to Tammy? Yeah. Then when you... I'll, I'll talk to her about it because I don't want you losing those two cards. All right, I'm getting ready to go out tonight. But I'm trying to get my hair to last one more day. So I don't have to do it for church again tomorrow. I want the straight hair to last for church tomorrow. Cause then I need to start taking like two showers a day. Delete, like I think I had to do that two days in a row. And I just don't want to have to worry about like whether my hair is done or not. <laughs> 
So I'm trying to let, let this dry shampoo kind of look like a little skunk. Um, but I am ready for my little girls night out. We're gonna go to a restaurant here in town called Coho Cafe and um, just have a good time. Maybe we'll go get dessert and take it down to the lake afterward. Um, it's a very quiet house, but it also means it's very clean. Like, I think there's like three dishes over there. <laughs> so nice. Um, Ashley is going to stay with her friend um, at this party that they're at at the, anyway. And then the friend's mom is gonna take them back to her house. She's like, can she stay like a while because our neighborhood is having a party outside and they would just have a really good time and entertain my daughter. And I was like, yes. And so Jason's gonna stay and work late tonight at work and um, get some stuff done there so that he can take time off for my surgery. Um, side note, our employee is gonna send us home with a meal um, a few days after my surgery, which is super nice. So if she's watching this, thank you. Which I don't think she does because she didn't know about the surgery until today <laughs> when Jason told her why he's taking time off um, for my surgery. Anyway, um, so he's gonna work on some stuff, come home, pick up Abby, and then go get Ashley, and then they'll be home for the night. So, and Kaylee's just at her friend's house. That's why you don't see my kids very often, because most of them are very social or working, and then the other one is just kind of a hermit. All right, I have taken Abby to work. Been working on the computer. I've been having to like make sure I have like credit card statements all printed out, dates that they need to get paid written out, put into calendars. I just scheduled Abby's official driver's license appointment at the DMV, which is very exciting. Um, she will get her actual license on her birthday. She chose that, I asked her today when she was at work, I texted her and I was like, okay, we can schedule your appointment. Do you want to get your license on your birthday or do you want to do it like the day after? I don't want to spoil your, spoil your birthday. And she's like, I can't think of a better way to celebrate my birthday. So I've just, just been doing fun. all these things to like just prepare myself um, to truly like kind of be off mom mode. <laughs> Cause I do all these things um, around the house, even to the point of like having to like put it on the calendar. Jason, go deposit your paycheck, <laughs> pay the credit card bill. I should be fine by that time, but like, it's just a matter of um, preparing and planning and whatnot. And another thing that we're doing today to get ready, this just came in the mail. This is a birthday gift for Abby. And this is, I think the last one. So I think I'm gonna wrap up some of them um, right now with her, cause she's looking for something to do. And then so we'll just kind of set them aside. I'm, for my friend. I'm not gonna put the stuff in the bags cause the gift bags are, like harder, I don't want him to get messed up, but I can stick this in the corner and that way she doesn't see it. She will be like trying to She'll see it, it, she knows, but um, regardless. Okay, get the paper out. But it's, I don't know, I'm just a planner, I'm a preparer, I like to have things ready to go, and um, we were supposed to have, let's see if this will fit. One, two, three, nope, that won't fit that way. We were supposed to have game night tonight with our friends. Oh, where's our light? You went all dark, hang on. Okay, open some windows. Kind of live in the dark, you, just, you messed it up. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> live in the dark to make sure we keep the house cool. We actually turned off the AC because it's kind of noisy when I'm standing right here trying to talk to you guys. It doesn't matter. So we're gonna hurry and do this so we can turn the AC on, but we have been able to maintain a very comfortable temperature here inside and it's like 90 degrees outside so we're doing pretty good um that way but the more i can do ahead of time the better and let's see here so anyway i am not going we're not having game night tonight because everyone kind of has other plans but it left me and one of my girlfriends with nothing to do because we don't have any plans. <laughs> She's like, well, I don't want to not go do something because everyone else can't go. So we're just going to go to dinner, the two of us. Uh, yeah, that'll be fun, huh? Yeah. No, here, let's go on. I just want to get it on there. Okay, do another piece right here. Um, so I haven't decided where we're going to go. We might go to Kirkland if you know the area. It's a couple cities north and west of me. 
and I just don't know the area well enough, but we might try and find a restaurant on the waterfront, which will be kind of fun because it's such a nice day. Um, I just have to, that's what I'm gonna do next is to go and research different restaurants and see if I can get a reservation because it gets very, very busy down there. It's a very nice area. I might even go to like Shake Shack for dessert. <laughs> Did you guys see that look she gave us? We always that sounds so our... yummy. We, we'll do that. Because we always we'll do that. Okay. In quarantine, but then now I just have. Yeah, it gone. was. I know we haven't gotten. Yeah, that's where we've gotten our COVID uh, shops, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, our friend works at that pharmacy, and so that's where we started doing our COVID shots, our COVID vaccines. Way back when, she we would see the Shake Shack closed and. Oh, we're gonna come back here, but we haven't. We haven't gone back. Yeah, we kind of messed it up. So, anyway, just I'm gonna do that, find a restaurant for tonight. This is not working out well. And then I'm going to go and clean my bathroom floor. I just need to mop it. Just the little teeny tiny room where the shower is. Okay. Um, let's just say that I will need help at Everything. the commode for a, f a day or two, Jason will have to help me um, get up and down. So I wanna make sure that the bathroom is clean for him to like be in there with me. I don't know. It's still gonna stink. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna have him in there the whole time. It's just hard to, I've heard it's hard to get up. Well, yeah, you can't really <laughs> So your... anyway, just want everything clean, everything in its right place. Um, just preparing myself and my house. Okay, little sneak peek. We've wrapped two presents. And then I have the gift bags, tissue paper, and another little uh, ribbon curly cue, um, and a happy, no, it is a 16 sign, um, ready to go. So this will be easy to bag up. I don't want to put them in the bags now because then it's harder to like store them, but these can sit here. And yes, it'll probably drive her crazy that I have it ready and visible, but it's also how All I right, do it. So I just brought Ashley down for a Let's little go back inside. Okay, we'll see you in a minute. So we came I can't give it away, but I came to Abby's work yeah. to give her a smoothie and some goldfish for and her meeting, work break. Yeah. Right? And, meeting my friends here. and you're meeting your friends here. So Abby does work somewhere where kids are involved without giving away where she works for privacy reasons. But Ash Ashley got invited to come down with her friend um, that is going to be here as well, and, and your sister just gave you a card to play for you get games on. Yep. And so you get to not spend your money. Yeah. You get to use your sister's employee <laughs> discount ish. Yeah. So you're very happy that you didn't have yeah. to spend your money. Except for I do have a few things on this. Like I have another card. You're going to leave your money here. Yeah, but I have another card that still has coins on it. So I'm going to... Are you going to take both of them? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in and we'll... Well, do you have, a, you have a pocket in your pants? No. Okay, can you give them to Tammy? Yeah. Then when you... I'll, I'll talk to her about it because I don't want you losing those two cards. $10 on this. Really so that was really 20. cute of Abby. She was like, I can just give it to her. Anyway, that's the benefit of having employee discounts. Um, anyway, Kaylee has a discounts at her work too, which we have utilized as well. <laughs> that's the plus side. Um, but I'm dropping her off. Uh, got Abby some lunch really quick. She's um, going to go back from break here soon. And then I just have Kaylee or Chelsea at home. And I asked her if she wanted to do something, call a friend and or even come here with Ashley and her friend and she said no, so she's just at home. Um, I'm just working on editing videos, said I am fully caught up and um, editing free for at least a few days after my surgery, if not a full week before I really feel like I have to like pull out the computer and edit from the couch most likely. Um, I don't think I'll be able to like lift my arms up as much um, at my desk, so I might just have to do it from my lap in on in bed or on a couch or whatnot but so that's kind of what i'm doing i'm just i'm just like checking off all these little things like jason and i have been texting each other all day long like okay i need to get my paycheck by next she's almost here such and such a date and um you know just different things like that just trying to plan ahead and and know what our schedule is like um asking friends to pick kids up from school or from work and whatnot um 
there was something else besides Abby's oh her camp she has a her first cheer camp um, is scheduled the second week after I have my surgery and I can't drive her to that so Abby gets to drive my Tesla <laughs> but then you have another something else happens oh you have another your actual cheer squad Red. No. Something either. else. There. What is? Oh, you have. No, you don't have a cheer camp. The second week, you have an a, another little kids camp. That's the one that your friend Lexi is doing for you. Oh, yeah. You're paying for that one. No. Uh, you're. I I'm you paying. Were. I'm paying for it. That's just a kids <laughs> like crafty kids camp. And then the second, the third week after, I'm like literally like the okay. day before I'm technically allowed to drive here. again. Here. Her cheer camp starts. I'm going They're to get here. out. Okay, I'm going to get out and go talk to the mom, make sure everyone's good to go.